Hello everyone, Mike Grempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at a, a simple process in Excel and that's how to use a formula to count the number of unique items in a list. Uh, it, it is pretty simple but somewhat creative so let's see how we can do this in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have a list of items here and you can see in that list there are a total of 17 items and several are duplicated. Add looks like it's in there four times, uh, 12 is in there twice, Apple three times, etc. And I want to know how many unique items are in this list. Now here we have 17, you may have hundreds or thousands, um, but I'm just using this simple list uh, just for um, explanatory purposes. And I just duplicated this list so if I make a change to one it's still uh, I still have the original list available. Now one way that you could do this is using remove duplicates. So if I highlighted my list, went over to the data tab, select remove duplicates, make sure my data has header row is, is checked if that's the case, and say okay Excel will tell me there's 10 duplicate values been removed, so seven uniques remain. So that being the case, I'm just going to put a seven here because we know that's the answer that we're looking for. But if we wanted to do that via a formula, my formula would be this. I would type equals sum, hit tab, and then one divided by, and I'm going to use count if, and my range is going to be the list of items, comma. My criteria is also the list of items. I'm going to close my count if function, close my sum function, and because I'm comparing two arrays, this is an array formula, so instead of hitting enter, I have to hit control shift enter, and there's my formula, and the answer is seven. So you can see, with a formula, I was able to duplicate what we figured out manually, that there are seven unique items in the list. Now, how does this work? Well, again, just knowing what we know about the list, we know Ed is in there four times. We know 12, I can see, is in there twice. Apple, three times. The number five is in there twice. And 78, three, and USA are all in there twice. So if I highlight that you can see the sum of that is 17 so it looks like I've got all of them in there so what the formula did was count each one of those so it counted that Ed was in there four, 12 was in there twice etc and took each one of those numbers and divided it by one so for Ed each time it saw Ed since there were four it divided it by one so it assigned one-fourth to each of the adds. So when you total up all the adds, they add it up to one. Now I'm going to do that a little more visually. I'm just going to use uh, VLOOKUP to show you that. I'll say equals VLOOKUP tab. My lookup value is ed. My table array is this, and I'll lock that with the F4 key. I want the second column, and I want an exact match. I'll hit enter. And I'll take that and I'll divide uh, that by or that into one so you see it gives me a quarter. So one divided by that, I copy that down and you can see when I highlight it down at the bottom the sum is seven because every time Ed appeared it gave a quarter to that. Apple, since there were three of them, it assigned a third. All the other ones that had two, it assigned a half. You total all that up and you get the sum of seven. So that's how you can count the number of unique items you have in a list in Excel. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.